well, the big announcements about Heritage Hall, and Laura is going to be speaking about that. Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'm here to talk about an exciting transformation that Heritage Hall is currently undergoing. As you know, this renovation work started with a vision of Alice Jerome over 10 years ago. She wanted to recapture the grandeur that our sanctuary once had. A larger group has since organized to help this project come to light. We've been working very hard with planning meetings, brainstorming, archiving, and obtaining bids for work that we just can't do ourselves. Many of you toured the space a couple of weeks ago, and much more has happened since then, as you can see. The gorgeous carved wood panels that were saved from the 1970s have been put together like a giant puzzle piece, and they now reclaim their position under the beautiful rose window as it once did almost 90 years ago. We will have another tour on August 4th if you would like to come see all of the great transformation the space has gone through. But due to its age, the building is in need of some serious repair, of which we are not capable of handling ourselves. The ceiling cracks have been an issue for a while, and the ceiling will be redone with new plaster and the cracks will be repaired. The wiring is too old and must be brought up to date and code in order for us to even use the space. The lighting has always been an issue and we are going to retrofit the existing chandeliers that are even hanging in the space today with new LED uh, light fixtures. The heating and cooling tubes that are huge in the ceiling, held up by the brown beam ceiling, that's all gonna come down and that's gonna again, expose the beautiful ceiling and the beautiful uh, stained glass windows that are in there. The HVAC system, this heating and cooling system, is then gonna be put up in the attic uh, as uh, to allow for all of that to be gone. As of last week, through a generous donation, plus the remaining balance of the Heritage Hall Fund, we are just $25,000 short of reaching our goal to keep this momentum going, and it's a good momentum. We can finally complete the construction portion of the job this year. Then in January, we'll be able to begin the process to wrap up the project by completing the cosmetic portions of the remodel. So any assistance that you can provide monetarily or by volunteering any time to help work would be greatly appreciated. You can see Stephanie Bauza if you would like to make a donation. And there are envelopes in the pew, the yellow ones, uh, for the Heritage Hall Fund. Or now, like Stephanie said, you can visit the St. Paul website for our new way to make an online donation at stpaulucc.org, along with our Facebook page. If you need any other information about this project, you can uh, talk with Roger Harris or Dave Hoffman for details. Thank you very much.